Yeah. Everyone's yelling at me. It sounds like this guy's beating his dog over there. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Everyone's yelling at me. Woo! Dude. Alright guys, what's up? Here at uh, Close to the Public. In the center of this powerful, powerful rack here with my man Tim. We are gonna go through a unique workout. Uh, something extremely important in baseball isn't talked about that much and that would be rotation rotational power how to get it how to get it better where it comes from and part of the foundation of rotation can be established here in the weight room and so today what we're going to go through is we're going to go through rotational base workout uh, for Johnny and uh, the goal for today is to increase his rotational power uh, and that's going to be the whole block of this training series that we're going to be doing. Uh, we had just uh, accomplished a uh, strength-based phase. That was our precursor to power. And now it's going to be all about power as we lead into this home run derby. Okay, so let's get it moving. My man Tim here. I'm going to find my center. And then we can get to work. Perfect. Right here. So we go boom, so, boom. A couple things that I love about this is going to be this is gonna warm up the foundation of what it takes to rotate. And that's through his feet. Once we create that foundation, everything's warmed up in his body, then we can start progressing into different power variations that have to deal with rotational power itself. Was drafted in June of 01, retired in 16. And what sticks out in my career the most is zero days on the DL. How does that happen, all right? Well, we gotta come up with a few things, but I would point to this more than anything. So you bow for the, for the people. <laughs> One of my favorite ones, get the upper body prepped and everything warm up, warmed up and activated for rotational power. It's all about setting the base and getting the little muscles strong. And I like to stop it and then go the other way. Some guys do directions all one, I like to stop it. So if you're at home wanting to try this, a couple things, uh, talking points on form. As you can notice how Johnny, when he swings to his right, he's clearing his elbow first as he comes overhead, okay? So we're getting a nice, nice lengthening of his uh, Terry's major, his lat, all right? And then he's pulling back down to some isometric stability and all this is going to activate the musculature of the upper body. Whew. Now we're gonna add the hips to the upper body through this water bag. So Johnny's gonna grab the handles. We're gonna go into a kind of a kettlebell swing into an overhead pull, very similar to our baseball swing. Yeah, and again, water bag, right? Gotta keep it stable. It's not a true kettlebell. Secondary muscles are gonna flex. Now we're gonna start moving up and stop it and bring it back up. He makes this look easy, but the amount of core stability it takes right here to actually execute this movement is out of this world. Like, I, if I tried it, it would probably throw me backwards into that wall. Good. Walk Boom. off. Okay, one of the key components for us to be able to track Johnny's growth and development within rotational power is gonna be accelerometer. All right, he's gonna get into a batter stance within his feet, all right? And then what we'll do from here is basically we're gonna cue him in uh, to go into four reps, all right, starting with force production through his feet, working up the kinetic chain, and then finishing within the upper body. Good. Done. Perfect. That's rotation. That's power. This exercise right here is one that we created here in house. And so it's a newer one, probably one that you would not have seen uh, been executed yet. What we're gonna cue in is actually basically uh, a static contraction or isometric contraction of this lead arm. That's gonna be pulling down against the med ball. And you'll see here in a couple seconds. We're gonna do basically a three count and then we're gonna release, all right, from that position. And you're gonna see how it's gonna transition to uh, upper body power. So ready, pull. Three, two, one. Good, a boy. Three, two, one, good, had a boy, nice. Okay. The, uh, the final touches to this rotational power session is gonna be a, 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 in a concept called post-activation potentiation. So this variation that we're gonna do is we're gonna use blitz balls with a light bat 
okay? And we're gonna do a cross behind approach to our swing, all right? And by doing that, we're gonna basically be over accelerating the arms and the hand speed and as well as the, tra the transverse plane, all right, through our hips, okay? So Johnny's gonna take four reps here. Woo! Dude. <laughs> In honor of the uh, Home Run Derby X, today was a type 2 X muscle fiber training session that it pertains to obviously rotational power for Johnny Gomes. Yeah, I mean, that's a day in the life right there of uh, rotation. Getting ready for competition, if you will. Granted, it's a home run derby, but I'm pretty excited about uh, traveling the world and hitting homers, two of my favorite things. So how this works for us is we're gonna continue to train within power and acceleration. All right, and that's gonna lead to every single one of these cities. All right, so as we get to our first city, we're gonna start working maintenance and making sure that he can perform at an elite level and crush the home run competition. <laughs> So guys, we got uh, some of the boys out here at Top Golf. We're kicking it off here at about 10 a.m. Rotational power. What a better spot, what a better sport than golf. I'm over here on the JV Bay. <laughs> what do you got What do you got on Johnny Swing over there? Oh my gosh, I mean, where do I start? First of all, that's, uh, he doesn't care a lot, so that's good. Hmm. He's got a little bit of a slice that he can't fix, which I don't think he will because he's inside the ball a lot. It's pretty sad. It's pretty sad for an athlete. Johnny, my dollar, oh. man, what are we doing? Oh. Donation. Dude, donation? Donation. What do you mean donation? It's right here. Seeing this and, and being able to hang out and be in a relaxed environment is key. You know, as an athlete, a lot of times you spend too much time in the gym. You know, you don't really give yourself a mental break. So for us, this is a way to get out of the gym. It's amazing. Welcome to Talk Off. Uh, these balls are uh, juiced, as you can see. What is this? Oh, yeah, oh my. Did he get it? Yeah. yeah. That's oh, shit. This is what we call improvement. It's 20 shots. One, two, three, four, five. Not in the blue. Coach, you want to know what happened right here? Take it's you through. As simple as moving your contact point. Okay, I know nothing about golf, I know about baseball, but if I'm a little late, my little out front. What we did is we just put the ball a little bit there. So contact point is very, very important. Absolutely. Self coach right there. Proof in the pudding. All right, guys, that was it right there. Fun day, got out of the gym, got some fresh air. Still, rotational <laughs> bombs, right? More bombs from you than from me. I was Shankosaurus. Good times, getting some rotational power in. Body's feeling good, getting ready for this uh, shit you're doing, right? Yep, yep, home run derby coming up. We uh, first stop in London. Ooh. So a uh, good 15 hour plane flight to go hit 30 <laughs> tanks, I'm in. That's amazing, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Boom.